Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and here is my iPhone 4S. So I did an unboxing over at youtube.com slash Coolman. This is the start of my iPhone 4S series of videos. I'm going to be doing some demos for you guys, stuff like that. Review is going to be coming up in a couple weeks. I am still waiting for my, actually I got two of them. So I got two iPhone 4S's. Uh, one is a 16 gig white, which I'm going to be giving as a gift to my mom later on. Once I get my 32 gig black model in. So I'm still waiting for that SoftBank says it isn't here yet. Until then I'm going to be rocking the 16 gig white. Um, and uh, I've just done a clean install, iOS 5, all of that. Uh, set it up in store so I didn't really get to film the setup process. I apologize. But nonetheless, I'm going to have a series of videos coming up. This video is mainly to show what's new in iOS 5 and what's new in general with iPhone 4S. And, you know, just kind of a little bit of demo. And you guys want to see the Siri demo, so I'll be doing that in this video. Um, not much is different from my whole iPad 4.3 video, so I'm going to kind of skip over the stuff I really mentioned or uh, talk about it very briefly. Anyways, the iPhone 4S, again, this is the 16 gig white model. Hardware wise, it's about the same as a 4. Uh, really, the only thing, and I'm actually going to go ahead and grab my 4 really quick, because it's right here, is the only difference you're really going to see is here um, is my 4, and this is the antenna on the side. And I'm, if I can just turn my phone here, you can see that the antennas uh, kind of match up. And again, I know it's on foc uh, not really focused out here, but the antennas are different uh, in the way they match up here. You can see that the antenna is now on the side up here. And the one on the bottom is about the same location, but now the the other antennas have been moved up. Uh, that way, it allows for better. It's dual band antennas, I believe. Allows for better signal, no antenna gate issue, and just uh, you know the whole receiving. And I think it's on Verizon where you get you couldn't do that whole receiving and sending out data while you're on a phone call. Um, now you can do that. It's a world phone now. Obviously, it has the new A5 dual core processor in it, so it's much faster. Seven, I believe, seven times the graphics performance. Um, and you know, just much more utilization of RAM and stuff like that. So you can, obviously everything is much more faster because you have that A5 dual core processor built in. Um, two cores, you know, working twice as hard in the, compared to the iPhone 4. Uh, along with that, you have the eight megapixel camera with 1080p recording, uh, and that's really, really nice. I'm gonna do a whole separate video along for that one with the videos and still shots and stuff like that. Um, but again, you have the eight megapixel camera, and overall, with iOS 5, it's just, you know, a whole new experience with your iPhone 4. S, I should say, um, but hardware-wise, I mean, design-wise, there's not much of a change. Battery life has been pretty decent. You know, they they promised. You know, this. Uh, I think it was. I want to say. I don't want to say eight hours. Don't quote me on that. But um, Wi-Fi. You know, on Wi-Fi, it lasted about five to six hours decently without having to plug it into my charger yet. Um, and again, I just got it yesterday. So I mean, it does last a really cement, uh, good, substantial amount of time unless you have location services turned on and everything, all brightness and all that, all turned on all the time. Again, you know, battery life varies on what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock it here and talk a little bit about iOS 5. Really, what's new on the I, uh, iPhone is the same as I showed in my iPad video. You have iMessages now. I mentioned that it's whole messaging between iOS devices. Videos and music app is now separated within iOS 5, so you can kind of have it more organized rather than just having an iPod app. Personally, I like the whole iPod app idea. Um, I are the phone, obviously, the mail, Safari. Uh, Safari doesn't have any much more changes in it um, compared to in the iPad where you have the tab browsing. It's still about the same here. I think you have some options to do, I believe, private browsing now. If I'm not mistaken, you can enable private browsing within Safari. So if you want to do that whole deal, you can enable that. And actually, Safari, the cool thing, I think, I want to find out if maybe it's in the settings here. Safari, uh, I believe if you enable private, so if, let's see, if I turn on private browsing here in the settings, uh, it's going to, I'm going to say close all tabs. What it's going to do, uh, other than obviously it's not going to track your history and stuff like that. So, I mean, if you, you know. <laughs> if you're uh, doing that type of anything, you know, related with that type of stuff, where you don't need to, you don't want to be tracked or anything like that. I mean, of course, you could be buying stuff and all that uh, that you may be on an unsecure network and you want to be private, or you can be doing other stuff. You know, I'm not <laughs> saying anything, but you get this whole new uh, private browsing interface. But the thing I like about this is this interface looks really, really cool in terms of just how they skin it black. And I wish you can get this interface in non-private browsing mode because I mean, I don't want to be uh, you know, I don't want to be in private browsing because I actually like my history being stored. That way I can obviously refer back to sites and all of that. But um, the only thing I do like about it is just that you can, you get a really cool interface compared to this one right here, you know, this uh, traditional blue one. I wish you can kind of change it. I'm sure there's a jailbreak mod that'll come out. And of course I will be jailbreaking. I'll be showing you guys how to do that once that comes out. Um, but that's the new changes in Safari. All the mail app has been improved. Newsstand is now added. Reminders app has now been added. So you can add reminders here. So here's some reminders of mine. And I've been doing, uh, I've been sending these with Siri actually. And uh, along with the reminders, coincides with notification center. If I swipe down from the top here, you can see it takes me to the weather app here. 
Um, and again, I can swipe back down. Uh, you also get traditional stuff like text. My reminders is here. Uh, my calendar is here. Uh, my stocks are here. And again, these are just basic stocks, you know, just the default ones. I need to add my own. You can add your own and stuff like that. Uh, again, weather weekly layouts here. You can switch between that and to your traditional weather. And I actually need to set this because my weather isn't based off of Tokyo. <laughs> um, but... Uh, I can swipe back up, and that's, uh, you know, other than that, you really, I have some apps that are installing here, I just installed some ones just to uh, test some stuff out, I got, you know, I just got a whole bunch of free ones and a couple of paid ones there, um, but uh, other than that, you still have your multitasking traditionally with your uh, whole uh, double tap to get into your, uh, what do you call that, your um, <laughs> multitasking bar, you also have this volume meter now, so you can adjust this uh, right here, um, I'm guessing, I'm not sure why, I guess because I'm not, I guess I'm, I guess I'm not using any audio app, but when you are, you can adjust that uh, as well in there. And another new thing, if you go to the home screen with iOS 5 and you double tap, you now have quick access to your camera. And the camera app with the A5 is much more quicker. We're here in the camera app. You have a lot more options here. You can go into grid and HD, and or HDR uh, for photos. Um, obviously, you have the front-facing and the rear-facing camera. You have video mode. But another thing is now if I take a picture here, when I take that picture, I can click here and I can edit it now within the iPhone. And the iPhone has a little bit more, or a much more advanced editing system than before within iOS 5. So if you want to edit a picture, you can do so uh, by cropping it and stuff like that. Um, I think you can also do it with, I want to say you can do it with camera mode, but I'm not sure. Let me actually let me go into camera mode real quick. Or not camera mode, I mean uh, recording. So I'm going to quickly record a video here of this white board behind my, iP uh, my iPhone. And you can now, I should believe, you can kind of drag through. Oh, I swear, did I, where's the editing tools here? I swore there's editing tools, but maybe do you have to turn it on a certain way. Hang on, let me go through options real quick. Whoops, this is the front facing camera, if you guys want to see that. This is still VGA quality, but it's pretty decent, if you ask me. Uh, you can see the webcam there. Um, but basically, they just have stuff for like red eye reduction and uh, that all that sort of jazz. So I'm wondering why? How do you get it to show up here? The maybe you actually have to go into the photos app. Let's try that. Because uh, before you could you were able to uh, do this. So I can go ahead here and I can go and click this. I'll click something like this. Can I just edit it from here? This is some picture earlier I took with my uh, my car here. You go oh, here. You go. You can right click on top here. Edit. There you go, now you have your basic editing tools with the cropping and magic wand type of stuff, red eye reduction, all that type of stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, these are just some pictures. Some I know you guys can't really tell from the quality of the video, obviously, because garbage in, garbage out, that whole deal. Um, but I'll be giving you my own you know, uh, video up with actual images and video and stuff like that. Um, along with that, you have a, now a new speaker, and uh, a lot of people didn't notice this, but the speaker is much more, or not much more, but noticeably louder than the iPhone 4. I'll do a comparison video in another uh, video to come, but other than that, that's really what's new in the iPhone 4s. I mean, a lot of hardware changes, a lot of stuff internally that you don't really notice. A lot of people didn't notice the whole speaker thing until they actually played the audio and compared it to an iPhone 4, and it's really, you just notice it's that much more louder. The phone itself feels a little bit heavier than the iPhone 4, just a tiny, tiny bit noticeable in the hand, but still a really, really solid build. Uh, still feels like a great phone. And with that, guys, uh, without much further ado, that's really all new in iOS 5, along with obviously iCloud for syncing all your data and stuff like that. Um, but with that, guys, I want to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of Siri demo. I know you guys asked for it. So if you hold the home button here, I can click on this info button, and you can see a couple stuff you can ask Siri. You can ask it to call somebody by name. You can ask it to play a song. You can ask it to message somebody. You can ask it to set up a meeting, remind somebody, email, what's the weather like. Uh, but along with this, it can ask other questions. So for example, uh, I can say, do I need an umbrella tomorrow? Now this also can be activated by holding the it phone sure up to you. Like rain tomorrow. And you can change actually the accent from the languages setting uh, within your uh, Siri setting. So you can see here, it tells me that it sure looks like rain tomorrow. It can interpret that. I don't even have to say what's the weather like today. I can say, do I need an umbrella tomorrow? It'll interpret under keyword umbrella and notice, you know, I'm talking about rain, obviously. And it's going to highlight the weekly forecast. It's going to highlight tomorrow, for example, to show me that it's going to be raining tomorrow. Um, I can also ask mathematical stuff because it's incorporated with Wolfram Alpha. So, what is 10 times 100? Let me check that for you. And I really don't have to enunciate. I mean, I'm enunciating for this video, but when I'm on the go and I'm using this, I, it's kind of natural. It really does detect really, really well. I mean, obviously, voice technology isn't perfect. It has its slip-ups. 
but it's still pretty I didn't decent. Get an answer for you. So you like, might want to try that again. See right there. See right there. I got. I typed in the right answer. You know, it notified it right, but see, it still didn't get an answer. So let's try another equation. What is ten times seven? This might answer your question. See, there you go, now I got it. And then now it gives me that Wolfram Alpha graph, 10 times seven. It's kind of like a calculator. It gives me a result and it gives me the number name and even gives me a number line. It can also do stuff like graphs and some more advanced stuff. Um, you know, just mess around here. I know you guys seen a couple of these, so. How much wood can a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? So you see, that was pretty it fast there. It depends on whether you are talking about African or European wood. And <laughs> you can see there, Really, really, really sharp detection there, and it gives you varying answers even if you ask the same question. So, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? This might answer your question. Okay, see, now it, it, it detected it wrong there, but oh, maybe not. A woodchuck could chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Okay, so there you go. It gives you that answer. And it can also read that answer to you uh, sometimes. So it varies on answers, like I said, sometimes. Um, but you can ask it a couple of things. So I love you. Impossible. <laughs> or you can also do some other stuff like open the pod bay doors. That's a rather insensitive thing to say to an intelligent agent. <laughs> so you can see there, you know, just some uh, movie quotes. Uh, what else here? I think you can. Oh. What is the meaning of life? Life, a principle or force <laughs> that is considered to underlie the distinctive quality of animate beings. I guess that includes me. <laughs> so you can see there, it does have some smarty pro quo, you know, responses to even, you know, random questions that you may even ask it. Uh, mathematical questions. Again, you can do some more practical stuff and more productive stuff like Remind me tomorrow to make a video on something. <laughs> so you can see there, it wasn't really fluid speech, but it Here's still got it pretty much perfectly. Yeah, so remind me tomorrow to make a video Shall on I something. It? And it asks you to create it, yes or no, and, and I shouldn't be speaking right now because it's no notifying it. But I'll just say, yeah, confirm, why not? So I'll tell you when it's going to make it, and okay, I can confirm it. I'll remind you. Uh, along with that, obviously, you can ask about weather. You can tell it to call somebody. You can tell it to respond to somebody via text message. But really, Siri is really, really great. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously, if you don't know who Siri is, so let me do this last one. Who are you? I'm just a humble virtual assistant. There you go, guys. That is Siri. Really, really fun. You know, not to even play around with it, just just to see how far voice technology has come. Obviously, it's been around there forever. It's been, you know, on Google phones. It's been on Androids. But uh, I got to say, this really implements it well. And just in the way you interpret interprets what you're saying and what you mean by what you're saying. You know, I don't have to say, what's the weather like? I can say, like, uh, and it's really, really smart in terms of, so let's say I asked it, you know, what's the weather like tomorrow? And then I say, do I need an umbrella right after if I ask another question? It interprets that before I said tomorrow, so it's going to interpret whether my next question uh, that I'm talking, it's going to know that I'm talking about tomorrow. So, it, you know, just stuff like that. Really, really smart. Uh, anyways, guys, I've overdrawn this video. This is an overview of iOS 5 along with the iPhone 4S. More videos to come featuring uh, other stuff, you know, the like camera quality, etc., some speed tests, etc., all of that to come. Anyways, guys, don't forget to check out digitaldojos.com for more. Until then, I'll catch you in the next video.